Okay, here we go, time for the background. Got the board perfectly flat, horizontal. Got my piece of uh, printer paper there that I'm mixing my colors on. And I'm using a makeup sponge. So it's not that spongiest kind of fibrous, more like a ball of cotton wool. And the, I'm doing this deliberately because I want to create a misty effect. I didn't want to use the pan pastel tools because they they can put down a, quite a lot of pastel and I wanted this to be, as I said, more of a sub, very subdued misty effect. And you can see already how the cat is being separated from the background. Now I deliberately picked this, uh, this brown pastel matte paper because I knew it was a similar colour and tone to the cat and I wanted some of it showing through. So I want this kind of a, a subdued grainy look as I'm putting the pans, the pan pastel on the surface. And I'm starting in by the cat first, gradually going a little bit over the edge. So that's going to be the most opaque area. That's what I want. And then I'm working outwards from there. So that naturally then is given a less opaque area. You see, so I've got that area nice and opaque and then in circular motions, I'm working out from it. Now somebody said to me, once they'd seen my finished drawing, Oh, I'm a bit disappointed. I was hoping that you put more work into the background. It was never my intention to make the background a big element in this drawing. It's all about the face, the eyes, the detail. And if I'd put details in the background, then it would have just detra detracted from that. And that's not what I wanted. The background in this case is a complete supporting role. I did think I was going to do a, a solid color like in the reference, but I decided to do this instead. Now I'm just going to turn it around. There's no reason why you've got to leave the paper in the same position. If it's more beneficial for you to turn it around, then turn it around. I'm creating a subdued edge. And obviously I'm going to detail over that edge. We're going to need some hair for it to come over that. Otherwise it's all going to look very, very soft edged, which is what I want. That'll help with the three dimensional aspect, but I still need to bring a drag a few hairs and obviously the whiskers out over this background. So I'm just going to carry on now, working my way around, building up this background, exactly the same technique as you've seen so far. Just wanted to quickly mention my Patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction. It's packed full of pastel videos, oil videos as well, and those videos are being added to new ones every single month. I have videos for the complete beginner that have never done pastels or oils before with just limited supplies. And I take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings. I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details. You see everything I do, how I create my work. But it's not just for beginners, it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well. And this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details, tips and techniques. 
and as mentioned I've got lots of oil videos on there too so there really is something for everybody and you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just four dollars. Now over a thousand members strong hope to see you there soon.